Hi everyone, welcome to Paper Wishes Weekly Webisodes. I'm Lene Gehrig, and today from our friends at Crafters Companion, we have these cute little sets of stamp and dies. We have a square, we have a circle, we have a square, and we have oval, and together you guys make really sweet little cards like this one. This is our giveaway card for this episode, so if you stick around, you'll learn how one lucky viewer could win this card to keep or share with a friend. So come play with us. All right, so this one, the circle, is called Bloom and Grow. This is the die. And then here are the little stamps. I'll let you read those, pause if you would like. All right, and then we've got the square shape, just like this. And remember, you can turn these any direction. Here are the stamps. And then we've got the oval shape. Turn it in any direction, like this. You can use this. And here are the stamps. All right, so let's get started with the oval. So, my friend Debbie made this beautiful card. It's five by six and a half inches, and she die cut the entire card front after covering it with this beautiful patterned paper beautiful subtle green paper and then she went and she colored them so we're going to demonstrate that now on the back side here well here she used an oval cutting die using the solid colors cardstock which i'm going to show you and then she just attached that after coloring these little cutout piece or these little die cut pieces and then she just glued that right there now i'm going to open this up and this is what it looks like on the other side where she took little bits of paper and she put those behind these little clusters of flowers right here and right here. Okay, and then glued the oval right here. Now, if you don't wanna see that part, okay, um, then you could just take a piece of colored cardstock and then you could glue that right there. Okay, so we didn't do that because we wanted you to see that, but now I'm gonna glue that down in a few minutes. So let's take a look at what she used. So Debbie used, ooh, so much stuff. Flower Queen 12 by 12 pattern cardstock. She used this one right here, okay? It's kind of this mottled green, it's really pretty. And then of course the pinks came from right here, all right? And then here we've got this piece, ooh, that was really blurry. This piece right there that she cut, or she rather die cut, um, after gluing it to the card front, okay? So I forgot to glue it to the card front, so I wanted to show you. You could do it like this, all right? Or you could glue the paper to the card front, and then if you're wondering how you get this six and a half inch wide card through your six inch wide platform, um, I'm gonna show you how. So, as I said, once this is covered with cardstock, you're gonna put this here, you're gonna tape that down with a little bit of low tack tape. I would advise taping it right here because this part's gonna get cut out and it's just gonna fall away. And then you're just gonna take some scrap cardstock, put it over the top, wrap the back of the card around like this, turn it, you've got a little sandwich there with your die, and then this is five inches wide and you're gonna run it through your die cutting machine. Now you will notice on the back side, you're getting an imprint there from the die running through, like that. But that's okay because Debbie covered that with cardstock. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna glue this down. And how you would do that is just put some glue here, 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 and then just a little bit amongst these little pieces and then of course here and then we're gonna line this use this other color too so pretty you don't want to get in the way of the fold there okay and then just like that so great job, Debbie. So let's talk about how to color these. I'm gonna grab my craft mat, which is 
way over on the other side of my table. Let's see if I can grab it without knocking everything over. Hey, I did it. All right. So what Debbie did, take the dark red tri-blend marker. If you're not familiar with this, it's three in one. I haven't demonstrated this in a while. So it's three pens in one. It has a dark nib, a medium, and then light. And I just like going across the whole thing. And you'll notice it just has a nice little gradation there from dark to light. It's so easy to blend like that. So what Debbie did is she just took like the medium one and then she's going around and just coloring all these little lines, right? And then when you get to the part that has more paper to that, you just want to go like this around that outside edge. See? There we go. So you're just sort of imagining where the flower would stop right there. You just finish coloring that in. And then with the green, okay, also take the medium. And then we're just outlining those just like that. Right, and then with this, go right down the center. And then you could switch it up and you could use the darker green ones. That. So that's how she did that, very easy. And then on the back, remember, just took a little bit of pink cardstock and glued that to the back. And then she took these little beautiful little Barbie pink Jewel Dazzle stickers. Okay, so easy. Um, did I bring my jewel picker? I don't know if I did. If you don't have a jewel picker, you can always use a pokey tool to just lift these up like that and then place them where you like them. And she placed them along the little flower centers. And then on the edge right here, I'm really excited to tell you that this one, Fancy Border Lace White Dazzle Stickers, now comes in individual sheets. And Debbie and I begged Paulette because we use this one so much. It usually comes in a whole pack of different color Fancy Border Dazzles. And we're like, we use this one all the time, the white lace, so she ordered it for us. So I will put this down below. So um, yeah, let me know if you guys use this one a lot too. It's one of our favorite ones. And then she also, so she put those little pieces right down here with the little scalloped edges. And then we've got some pink edges as well. And that is from, this is um, Thin Line Pastel and Pearl. And this has a whole bunch of these little Thin Line Dazzle stickers right here in this really fun pink right there along the edge. So it's all really delicate looking, really sweet job. All right, oh, I forgot to talk about the stamp. It is a stamp and die set. So, of course, after she die cut her oval and then she inked the edge or applied red ink to the edge of that, then she stamped that and we've got um, Take Time to Smell the Flowers, but there's all of these other ones as well. And then she did a red oval, scalloped oval, and glued that to the back of that as well. All right, so moving right along. All right, so this next one, this one, this is a six by six card. And we wanted to show you on the square, Here we go. Debbie cut this, um, the background here from black cardstock, which I'll show you in just a moment. And she put this die on point when she ran it through the machine. And this is what it looks like when it's on point, oops, let me see if I can grab something white so you can see it better. There we go. Isn't that cute? So cute. And then what Debbie did is she backed it with a little bit of pink cardstock and green cardstock. And this is just from Pastel. 
And then what we like to do is just go ahead and place it right there. Now there's a couple things you can do. You can take a pencil and just sort of outline where you want to cut, all right? And personally, I just like to take it and put a little bit of glue right here. Like that. And then I'm going to put that as close to the corner as I can. And then we're going to take our tiny scissors. Scissors, super important with this one. And I've misplaced my scissors again. Okay, hold on. Here they are. All right, so now you would just take your scissors, cut around this, and it does take a little bit of time. I'm just gonna cut away some of this excess stuff. There we go. And you're just doing little snips. This. And then you just wanna get between the leaf and the paper with the point of your scissors. There we go. And you're just snipping that away as well. Okay, so that's what you're doing. And then this part back here, okay, we didn't want any glue on the pet on the leaf part because we're gonna save that for green paper. So we're just going around that. This. <coughs> okay. And you're just going around and around it, just like that. Okay? All right. I love that. And then Debbie took that piece that the black cardstock that's got all the little pieces of paper behind it, kind of like the oval card, and she took some, this is really wild, this is pink hearts holographic paper. But look how it looks when you just use a smaller bit of it, okay? And um, so what Debbie did was, she took strips of this, little thin strips, and she took those strips and she glued them like this, and like this, and like this, and like this, just in the, around the opening, and then she put yellow cardstock behind it, all right, then she took the whole thing, <clears throat> her whole square, and glued it to this. Okay, so that's a, her card mat. And then right there, you could put a little rectangle in there and stamp that as well. And this is all glued to a six by six white card. That is shimmery. Okay, good job, Debbie. All right, so let's go on to the circle. So this one, Bloom and Grow, oh, I forgot to show you the cover of the square one. This is Bloom Where You're Planted, is this where this one's called. So, Bloom Where You Go, Grow. <laughs> All right, so for this one, I just took a five by six and a half inch card and some gold Miri cardstock and cut the cardstock into a rectangle and then just placed it on the rectangle, I ran it through my machine. Here's a thing I wanted to share with you that was my oops when I was doing this. Have you ever, like, you're doing a whole bunch of stuff on your machine and little bits from your flowers and your leaves fall out on your machine and you're way too busy, so you don't clean off the platform? This is what happens when you don't clean off your platform. We can see this. There is just a little embossed image of little bits that fell off and then I went ahead with my gold and put it upside down and then went ahead and embossed it and it just impressed into that. And I was like, no. So clean off your platform, especially when you're using something like mirror finished Miri, because you put that on upside down or right side up and you're cutting it and then you get impressions in there. So a way to solve that, or sometimes your die cutting mat is super used like mine and then you get ridges and stuff in it. So you could just put a little bit of like white cardstock or a scrap of that over that and run it through and it would take care of 
a lot of that. But yeah, clean off your plates. I wanted to show you that. All right, so then um, once I got that on the card, then I just took my Misty stamp uh, platform and I put the whole card in there and then went ahead and stamped with some black ink. Um, and then I added some straight line dazzle stickers and they come in a little pack like this. And I used the black one because I really wanted to go for that white, black, and gold. And I just put length here and here and then down the sides. And then this little bit right here, of course, is just a tiny little bit of 1 8 inch ribbon. This was a really quick and easy card to put together. If you have a special anniversary or a birthday coming up, this would be a great one to do. All right, so Debbie did another one using the circle. She made a shaker card. All right, before we go on with our, making our last card, um, I did want to jump in and tell you how you can win this card. So. Um, three times a week, we do give away one of the cards from our webisodes, and we are um, trying to promote our Paper Wishes YouTube channel. So if you're watching us on our webisode page, you'll notice right at the bottom of the screen, there's a little YouTube icon, and if you click on that, it'll take you to Paper Wishes uh, YouTube channel, or you can just go to Paper Wishes and search, uh, go to YouTube and search Paper Wishes. And um, we ask that you watch the video there if you haven't finished it here, or go ahead and give it a thumbs up, like the video, leave a comment, and then you're gonna need to know your username, your YouTube username. Because in about a week, we're gonna pick one of the comments and we're gonna say, hey, YouTube username blank, you're the winner. Contact Debbie at Paper Wishes to claim your card and we'll give you an email address for that our link for that, and um, yeah, we love to give these cards away, so please participate in that. All right, so let's move on. We're going to build a card. So, this card was designed by Debbie, and she told me how we're gonna put this together. So, this is stained glass. She chose this one because she wanted to use this very specific paper right here. It's kind of mottled blue and purple. All right, so we have this blue and purple, and then we have our circle cutting dies and she went ahead and she cut from the largest circle right here and then we're going to use some ink to ink the edges she was very specific so i'm i'm going to be very specific about this card and we're going to ink the edges with a little bit of orchid ink it's kind of a plummy color going all the way around and then we're gonna take that beautiful circle image that I used on the gold card, or that die rather, and we're going to use it as a mask actually on this piece. There we go. Let me find my mask. So it's this piece right here. And Debbie went and she cut that from, <laughs> Here we go, it's right in front of me. Some scrap white cardstock, all right? Now, it's also a good time to show you how to use the dye brush, okay? Which is fantastic. It's an old school tool, okay? And you just take it, look at it, it's flying out of there. And you just brush it like this and it's getting all these little pieces that we normally have to poke out and that don't, don't evacuate easily, like this. So I just wanted to demonstrate that because I don't get a chance, and Debbie and I use that every single day. So it's one of our favorite tools. All right. So now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take this. You can already see that she's tested the inking process. And we're also going to use a, just a scrap of cardstock here go and we're going to use orchid and we're going to use lipstick and we're going to use khaki ink so let's start back with the orchid we're just using this image as a little stencil and I am going to be kind of masking it off with this scrap cardstock because we want to isolate that as best that we can like that I don't want to get it 
go. Move all this up a little bit, and then we're going to use the lipstick pink for these little flowers right here. And there. And then we're going to do this one too, still kind of masking that off. You could also use post its for this. And then this one over here. And I'm just going to slide this right under these little leaves. There we go. All right, the last one is some khaki. What did I do there? There we go. And we're just going to be doing our little leaves. Just like that. And then I'm just going to leave those like that because they could get a little too much ink on the background. There we go. All right. There we go. And when we lift that up, we have a stenciled image. All right. So then <clears throat> Debbie took some beautiful mir lilac Miri cardstock and she cut a circle from it right here and then put the die right there and ran it through the machine again. And so what we're going to do is we're aligning these just like that. It's a nice little way of coloring that in. And we're going to glue that right on top of that. We've got our cosmic shimmer glue. We're going to go around these big parts right here. But there's some pieces here that didn't quite get evacuated. We're just going to poke those out. Should have checked that beforehand. There we go. And then I would just put a little bit on these flowers that are kind of apt to lift up. Right there, just a tiny little bit. We don't need a lot. Okay. Now we're just going to take this and just move that around until we get our stencil images aligned as best we can. So let me move this up a little bit for you. And this one's going to get moved down here, moved up. There we go. All right. And then Debbie took the large die, circle die again, and she put it on a, this is a five by six and a half inch card. Just have it go like that. And so it's over, it's overlapping the folded part. And that gets you this shape right here, which is your card. We're going to glue that, it's just the back there. You could put another scalloped piece over the back of it, so that's not going to show. We just forgot to cut one. All right, and that's going to go right there. Okay, so that it's going to open like this. I'm having this be at a little bit of an angle. And then I have this little circle. It's a small circle that she stamped with the orchid ink and inked around the edges of that. And then she used a little bit of dark pink or magenta right there. We're going to put some foam tape on this. Okay, and we're going to put that right there, or we could put this right here. Let's see, let's just kind of overlap it, like right that, like that. And then these adorable little pink crystals, we're going to go ahead and just put a little bit here, and then kind of put that around here. So we have 
some of these little adorable crystals. And we're gonna just tack those down. And I think this just makes the sweetest little card. That. And then when you're mailing this, a nice thing to do is just put a, just a sheet of white cardstock over this so that your little crystals don't cause the machine at the post office to get stuck. It's always a nice thing to do. Okay, the last little one is right, oop, right there. And you know, let's put one right there. Well, there. Okay, so there's our sweet little card that Debbie invented with the little stenciled image. I love that, good job, Debbie. All right, so now I have to clear off everything. Oh my gosh, so much mess. So you guys, we have a fantastic money saver on all of these beautiful cutting dies. As you can see, you can get very different cards from them. We wanna make sure we get all of this shown. This is our giveaway card, so please don't forget to participate in that. We love to give away three cards every week on three of our webisodes, there we go. And if you're interested in one or two items, just look down below the video on our Paper Wishes webisode page. If you're interested in what color ink we used, just click on the images of the cards. It gives you very detailed supply lists. And if you're watching us on uh, YouTube channel, then just look below the video in the description box and click on the link to take you to paperwishes.com. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you in the next one.